Welcome to the Gorilla video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to export your screenplay from Gorilla back to Final Draft. Now, this is a feature that not everyone needs, but if you imported your screenplay from the FDX file format into Gorilla, or even if you edited your screenplay in Gorilla, which you can do, and there is a separate lesson on editing your screenplay in Gorilla. You have the ability to export your screenplay out of Gorilla into the .fdx file format for opening and editing in Final Draft. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to first launch a schedule in Gorilla. And here, as you can see, is the screenplay display for each scene. There are some elements tagged here, such as a character named Amanda, an extra named Man on Sidewalk, and a few vehicles and other elements. These elements will also be exported back into Final Draft. If I go to Scene 2, you can see the screenplay display here. This is the information that will be exported into the FDX file format. Other Gorilla information, such as shoot days, crew, strip board, that of course will not, as Final Draft does not handle that information. I'm going to quickly add one line here in Scene 2, after the second action line and before the transition. After I click right, I will tag these two items as livestock. Okay, now let's go back to the manager screen, select the three dots here for the schedule, and select the other save option. Down here, I will select the checkbox Export to Final Draft or Movie Magic Scheduling and then click Save. The next step is to select the button here called Export FDX File for Import into Final Draft. Down here, Notice this option, which is automatically checked. This will check the format of the screenplay to make sure that it adheres to industry screenplay formatting standards. After the save completes, the FDX file will be placed on the desktop. Go to your desktop and right-click the FDX file and open it with Final Draft. And let's take a look. Here's the screenplay with all the scenes. Even the new line that we entered here for scene two. If you change the view to Tags mode from the production menu, you will see that any scene with tagged elements will be colored. Going to the navigator and selecting Tags, you can see all the tagged elements for each scene. You can now edit the screenplay as needed, tag more elements, and then import it back into Gorilla. Things like page count will be updated here also. So if you have more screenplay information to scene two after this line, the page count would increase and that page count would be imported into Gorilla for this scene. An important note, when bringing this file into Gorilla, you will be creating a new schedule. So if you had any shoot days or strip boards in Gorilla for this original schedule, you would not have that information in the new schedule, as you would be importing a new screenplay into a new blank schedule. So just to clarify, let me add another line here to scene two. First, let me get out of tags mode. 
and I will tag this new item. And here you can see that we have three tagged livestock items for scene two. Chicken, cow, horse. And then I will save this file and go back to Gorilla. Before I save, however, I will run Final Drafts Format Assistant under the Tools menu. And it found a couple blank lines, so I will fix them. Blank lines in Final Draft will come in as Rogue Scenes. I will now import this revised screenplay as a new schedule. Remember, it is on my desktop. When the import is complete, I will have two schedules in my manager. This new one I named Revised Schedule. And if I go to scene two, you can see the new line entered here in Final Draft with the chicken tag. However, this schedule does not have my shoot days, which I created in the first schedule. Notice, if I click the shoot days button, I am prompted to create a new production phase and shoot days. While the original schedule does have my shoot days. This is because it is a different schedule and the revised screenplay is a new schedule. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.